Okay, babe. Got your popcorn, got your phone on silent. Yes, I'm so ready. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. I'm so excited. Wow, I'm going to look amazing. Okay, let's go. Sweden, the small forest-covered country that sits on the northern tip of Europe. Famous for its rumpus Viking history, warrior kings, the Nobel Prize and the Swedish meatball. For a country with a population of only 10 million, the small monarchy has made an impressive mark on the world. Sweden has given us famous all-time movie stars like Greta Garbo and Ingrid Bergman, the Swedish music wonder who has the world's ears bleeding, the Scandinavian style of decor that needs a doctor's degree to assemble. And now it's delivering something even more fabulous. Us, the Vilbergs. So who are we? A real-life couple of glittery goblin creatures. We're designers, performers and globetrotters. For the last decade, we've been traveling the world, performing at the most fantastic locations, experiencing different cultures and making memories for life. But there's no place like home. Do you know how you spot a Swede in uh, Lapland? He's wearing shorts. <sighs> in this series, we invite you along to experience the place we love the most, our home country, Sweden. We'll be taking you on an adventure, starting in the snow-covered north all the way down to the sunny south. Discovering new favorite places, living out childhood fantasies, visiting famous landmarks, and meeting wonderful people along the way. Hello, my name is Mrs. Wilberg. And I am Mr. Wilberg. And we are here in Lapland, way up north in Sweden. And this is where our journey begins. Let's go. the Vilberg's Chronicles, Sweden edition. In 1989, when Mrs. Vilberg was nothing more than a hopeful stare in her father's eyes, Yngve Bergqvist, the founder of the Ice Hotel, had a vision to increase the winter tourism to Jukkasjärvi. He invited international ice sculptors over for a workshop, which resulted in the opening of Arctic Hall, an art gallery in the form of a big igloo filled with art created out of ice and snow, right by the Torne River. The Arctic Hall was intended to be a place only for art exhibitions, but as fate would have it, slowly turned into a hotel as well. And for many years now, it is one of the main tourist destinations in Sweden. People travel from all over the world to experience the ice museum, the frozen bar, and to get a cold night's sleep. If you want to fly to Lapland or go for some shopping here, the town you head to is the small mining town of Kiruna. And it's hard to believe that Kiruna, with a population less than 20,000 people, once was the largest city in the world, with an area covering over 14,000 square kilometers. Today, only the built-up area is the fact of the city, but it's a fun story to tell. We have arrived here at the famous ice hotel in Jukkasjärvi, and we're awaiting our guide, Philip, to show us around. We're gonna stay a night, and I'm gonna get blue lips. I love it. Oh, there he comes now. Oh, hello, Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. I'm so excited to see you, actually. Oh, we're excited to see you, too. Oh, Mr. Hey, and Miss. Hi. Pretty good, actually. You Pretty look good. like a Viking. Oh, I, ooh, yeah. thank a you. A tiny right? little Viking. Oh, I think that's a compliment, actually. You should. Can you believe he's calling me Miss? The nerve. I'm a married woman. He should call me Mrs. So we're gonna stay a night here. Can you show me my room? Oh, of course, indeed, I will show you your room. But there's one thing you should actually see before we go there. Do you know what that is? No, what is no. it? Then you should just let me to come in the middle of you, and I will show you the bar, actually. Yes, like, let's, let's go let's to the bar. Let's become a sandwich. Oh, yeah. Yes. So wow. if we fall, we fall on you. Yes. Oh, then we're all falling together. Yes. The ice hotel melts away every spring, and it's rebuilt every winter. This is the 31st winter for the ice hotel, 
which means that this is the 31st hotel in order. Besides bedrooms, the hotel houses a ceremony hall, beautiful decorations, and a fully equipped ice bar. And most importantly, an outdoor play area. We had so much fun riding the ice slide at Mrs. Richter dress. So are you gonna make us a good drink? Or do you want one? Oh yes, yes we would love one. Go in and make me a drink. Go in and make us a drink. I will make you the best drink that you ever have tasted oh, in this side so. of the world. Do you have ice glasses? Oh yeah, but I have something even better than just ice glasses. I have ice glasses that looks like champagne glasses. Wow, wow. Oh, they yeah. look amazing. Oh, thank Can you. Can you see it? It's pretty heavy and it's super cold as well. Everything in here is really made out of ice. Incredible. I like my drinks cold, so this works perfect for me. I wonder if they have a dishwasher here. Okay, wow. do you serve yellow snow here? Oh, we actually I would do. like to have a yellow snow. If you want a yellow please. snow, I will actually pour you up one yellow snow. This is very on brand. They, can you hear it? Oh yeah, I can hear it That's dribbling. the yellow snow with the bubbles in it. Oh, is it? Do you oh, have yeah. something that's very Swedish? Very sweet. That would be the wolf paw. Oh, I would like the wolf paw. Uh, wolf paw is homemade, picked up lingonberry, actually. Wow, mm -hmm. it's red. There yes. you go. Right. I hope you will enjoy it. Ooh, it's so cold. So good. Do I still have lipstick on? Do I look pretty? I know. Mmm, yummy. Do you ever look yourself in the mirror and feel ugly and invisible? Print out a photo of me and glue it to your mirror. That way you will always have a beautiful face looking down upon you. Now listen up while I teach you some Swedish phrases that you can use to cheer yourself up. Jag är fantastisk. I am fabulous. Jag är vacker på utsidan. I'm beautiful on the outside. Passing on my knowledge, sharing my wisdom. You need it. The ice hotel is much bigger than we thought. You can choose if you want to stay in a cold or a warm room. And if you want to go all in, you can stay in one of the art suites. They are bigger and individually designed from different artists all around the world. All with different styles and decor, but with one thing in common. Everything within the room is made out of snow and ice. We wanted to be surprised, so we let Philip decide what room we should stay in. And it turned out to be the Dreaming in a Dream Deluxe Suite by Kestutis and Vitautas Mystekis. All right, Mr. and Miss, welcome wow. to Dreaming in a Dream. Stop it! <laughs> Wow. This is so cool. Oh, look, Mrs. Uh, they made a portrait of you. This is me, and that's you. <laughs> what? No, that's me. Oh, no. Oh, my. Look, look, at the, look at the back. Yeah, it actually is. Look. It was meant to be. It's just the face. He looks a little too eager. You know, you have to keep it cool. Can you see that scary face over there? This is, this is also me. <laughs> He also has a mask. I'm made for this room. We have a salamander, we have a virus zombie lizard, just like me, and we have a masked head, just yeah. like me. An alien. Do we have a bed? Welcome to my bedroom, it's in here. Follow me. Wow. Look at this. This is a suite made for a goblin. Ah. Oh. Mm. It's gonna be so cold sleeping here tonight. <gasps> I love it. But you know what I've heard? If you're cold, you burn more calories, so I will be super skinny tomorrow. You will not recognize me. So did you lose weight? So for your hotties, we actually have a hot room as well. You do? I do, actually. So we don't have to freeze all night? Oh no, you can actually sleep on the floor there if you want. Sleep on the floor? I love a hot room. Let me show it for you. Wow, it's brown. 
Oh, a brown hot room. There's no ice in here. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, this is so super nice. Wow, look at this. I have a lights. bathtub, a shower. I have to be honest now. I was scared before coming here. How do you go to the bathroom in the ice hotel? It's not made of ice. Thank you. Imagine an ice toilet. Oh, that would be cold. Thank you so much, Philip, for showing us our room. But I have a lost favorite on to ask for. What? Can I get a hug? Yes, you can. Mm. <sighs> Hi, babe. Hi, baby. Welcome. <clears throat> What are we watching? Something fabulous. I bet. Oh, hi. And welcome to my own cooking show, Mrs. Vilberg's Swedish Food. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna start off my show with the most Swedish thing ever, meatballs, or as you call it in Sweden, Köttbullar. Some people look like meatballs, some smell like it, some had too many, some had too few. Nonetheless, it's a classic Swedish meal, and I'm very proud to show you how it's done. I am a vegetarian myself, but this lovely film crew in front of me are not, and when they are happy and fed, they film me from my favorite angles. It's a win-win situation. First step is that you mix milk, breadcrumbs, minced meat, onion, egg, salt, pepper, and a little sugar. Wash your hands in ice cold water and roll the balls. When you're done rolling the balls, you fry them in a frying pan. Keep them rolling so they don't get stuck. You want them round. Your meatballs need a friend, a companion, that brings out the best in them. So we are doing mashed potatoes. Time to peel these bad boys. Oh, it's so pale underneath. Peeling potatoes is hard. I peel them all by myself and it takes a long time. Really hard, excruciating work. But being a hardworking woman, this is what I do. Szeretném látni, amikor hámozza a krumplit. Ott ül a tökéletes kör, mivel biztos fél, hogy el fogja törni. After the potatoes are peeled, you boil them until they are soft and not hard in the middle. Then you mix them with a little milk, salt, pepper and butter. Because why not? Butter is good for you. Now that the meatballs are done, and the mashed potato is smashed, you are pretty much done. Traditionally, this Swedish everyday dish is served with a little lingonberry jam. And so will I. This I bought because I can only do this much. This I made all by myself. Meatballs with mashed potatoes and lingonberry jam. Jam a jam. And always remember, if I can do it, it doesn't mean that you can. I'm very talented. Bye. Good morning, missus. I've had the best night's sleep of my life. I feel so refreshed. How was your night? I can't feel my body. I feel so skinny. I love it. Good. There are few things more beautiful than waking up to the views of Swedish Lapland in wintertime. And we're extra excited today because we're up for a full day of winter activities that you can only experience right here in Lapland. Activities run by the Samis, Sweden's indigenous people. We just arrived here at Nutti Sami Sida. And we're gonna meet our guide, Daniel, who's gonna introduce us to a lot of reindeers. I've never met a reindeer before. I'm very excited. And I see dogs running around. This is gonna be the best day ever. Hi, Daniel. And what we're gonna do is that we do every day. 
We feed okay. them with this lichen, white moss. Okay. Okay. That grows on the ground. Normally, they need about four or five kilo every day. Oh, of that? Of this. That's a lot. And yeah, yeah. You can eat it as well. Can we? Yeah, you can. can. Try it. Can I try? Yes, you can try. It's just gonna be a little bit earth, earthy taste. But they, you actually use this in restaurants, fry it as well. So good. <laughs> I feel really healthy now. I feel myself getting skinnier. So tasty, living a healthy life since 2021. <laughs> the dog is scaring everyone away. Oh, please, please, have some moss. The reindeers ran away. I can't imagine what scared them. They must have been full already. It was me. I'm scary. Okay, so this is the males in here? Yes, this is the males that we have. They are castrated. We train them to pull the sleds. But as you can see, some of them, they have their antlers. Yeah. And some, they're not losing them yet. So the whole thing grows in one year? Yeah, in a couple of months. That whole wow. big thing? Yeah, so imagine your fingernails growing when it's properly growing, one centimeter every day. That's a long fingernail. Oh, that's a big fingernail. Ew. Long nails. I hate it. Hey, buddies. How are you? They want the food now. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, I want to feed the big one. Come here. They are not very judgmental as long as you have food. They're just like big dogs in snow boots, right? <laughs> and what we're going to do now is that we're going to use the lasso to actually catch them. Yeah. And what you do is the simplest thing is that you have it like this in a loop. Yes. You pinch it with your right thumb. Look at yours and look at mine. And you then the, the ring's gonna be more or less the same size. Mm, ish. What the f <laughs> <laughs> It's really hard. Hi kids. When does a joke turn into a dad joke? When it becomes a parent. <laughs> Another one. Mrs. is on a fruit diet. The house is full of it. It's enough to make a mango crazy. All of this lassoing actually has a purpose. We're trying to catch one reindeer each so we can start today's adventure. A full day of reindeer sledding fun along the frozen river together with Daniel. The first traces of people inhabiting this part of Sweden can be dated back thousands of years. And it was the Sami people, Sweden's indigenous people, who settled here in the land they called Sápmi. Today this area stretches over the northern part of Sweden, Norway, Finland and Russia. And it's estimated that over 80,000 Sami people live in these areas. Can you believe that I got Mrs. to go reindeer sledding all by herself? I thought we were gonna go on a big sled together, sitting down. Today the Sami people live just like you and I, but they're making sure to keep Sami traditions alive, passing the knowledge along to the younger generation. Like keeping reindeers, hunting and fishing, and of course the beautiful craftsmanship. And we must say, they have the most awesome traditional clothing we've ever seen. We made a stop in the middle of the wilderness to take in the scenery and to have some lunch, Samic style. And while we are busy getting stuck in the snow, Daniel's had the time to put up a camping site and start a fire. The first course on the menu is hot mushroom soup with gakko, Samic bread. How long have you been working with reindeers? I'm in on my year seven now. Okay. I'm not born like a traditional reindeer herder. Uh, my family and we relatives, we always have been working in the business, but on the other side. Okay. So on the one, on the slaughter side. This is really cozy. I could see myself live here. So good. This is sovas. And that is reindeer? This is uh, reindeer meat from the all different Sami villages that we have. So you can actually say that this is Really eco-friendly. This is very eco-friendly. If you should eat meat, this is the way to eat meat. Sovas with the gakko and some lingonberry jam. We're gonna finish this fabulous Lapland taco, and then me and Mrs. We're gonna go reindeer racing. 
I'm gonna win, obviously. <laughs> what a day, and such incredible views over the peaceful wilderness. But the sun is starting to set, and we need to head back to Nutisami Sida base camp before we get kidnapped by the Yeti. Number one, number two, always. And the winner of the rain the race was Rufus the dog. Yay! Really, I won, but I didn't want the dog to be sad. We're just getting ready to go for a midnight walk. We're gonna meet up Daniel, and we're gonna have some coffee by the fire and watch the stars. It's very romantic. I'm falling in love all over again with myself. <laughs> this is not really a romantic midnight walk to see the stars. We're hoping to get a chance to see the Northern Lights. We just didn't want to jinx it by saying too much. One of the best chances you have to see this rare nature phenomena is right here in Sweden during the coldest and darkest winter months. We now know that the Northern Lights are caused by solar winds disturbing the Earth's magnetosphere, but the Sami people believed that the lights was the souls of the dead, and you weren't supposed to disturb them in any way, fearing that the dead would dip down and snatch you up, carrying you away to the afterlife. The Vikings, on the other hand, thought that the Northern Light was the Valkyries, bringing the fallen soldiers back to Valhalla to meet their highest god, Odin. That was not a romantic midnight walk. It was the worst thing I've done in my whole life. I almost drowned in the snow. This is way too much work for me. So Daniel, we have been, uh, we've been looking at your, your clothes all day, admiring it. Could you tell us a bit more about it? Yeah. Like, what is it called? First one I have here, this is like a uh, lukka, which is uh, basically wind protection that we have. I have a question. Yes. What kind of underwear do you wear? <laughs> Boxer. <laughs> <laughs> Our time here in Lapland has come to an end. This has been a truly, truly a remarkable trip, and we would recommend anyone to come here and experience what we've experienced. It's been amazing. Cheers. Been. Cheers. Cheers. It's been a lovely Cheers. day. Cool. Cheers. And over here, we have some northern lights coming up. Wow. So romantic. I love you. I love you more. I know. <laughs> <laughs>